There are I a mean, lot there's a. There's Suarez. Yeah. Suarez. I hear Raptor does pretty good yeah. in his in his region. Uh, that's a region, you know. I, yeah. I feel like a lot. Some like more. If you want your character to be more recognized, you need to go out to more major events. That's Not true. show off what your character can do. But now, and right now, showing off what Fox can really do. ZB. Uh, they can. Oh, names are backwards. Names are flipped. And um, our bottom. Oh man, I, I fell for the name bait. Yep, there yeah, you <laughs> did. I our beach main, <laughs> our beach player. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So I like what he's going for. He's trying to snipe out the illusion with the with the nair. Great tool for I, for Peach to actually just kind of put up a wall and uh, make it really difficult for those horizontal recoveries. Yeah, but this is the uh, this is where Peach needs to like totally capitalize on. Um, Fox is kind of weird recovery options. It's very slow, very linear. So if Peach could like even trade with it with a Nair or a Bear, Peach is golden. That's right. But now they're kind of in that neutral space, and that Bear almost killed him. Oh, the grounded illusion. Oh, chased him with a Bear. That's right. I mean, of course, Bear standing up with the last hit. And Grounded Illusion actually has as much uh, re recovery frames in this game as uh, the Aerial Illusion did in Smash 4. So it's like, Grounded Illusion is just as good now. Yeah, and um, it, it nearly kills at like 200. And Nair coming out, catching the turn up, but he just threw it away. He didn't really care about it. And caught him with a forward smash. All right, yes. That forward smash as a ledge is such a great tool. I mean, it covers a lot of space and actually covers a few uh, options from the ledge as well. But the damage from ZD and the aggression just continues. Yeah, and there's the back throw. Really not much of a chase after that. I felt like if he caught that, uh, that forward beat and the side beat with the, with the down tilt, I mean the down air, it would have been kind of sick to see what kind of follow-up he could have gotten off of it. Ooh. That was really scary. I thought it was on the stage, but the nair to up smash, not going to kill. Not going to kill just yet, but you know ZD's not finished. He's going to be looking for those nares into up smash. He's going to look for up airs. He's going to look for back airs. Or Depending on the position. Or how brave he is, he might even just go for the up smash. Oh, raw up smash is my favorite. You can, like, get those raw up smashes on deck and unlock, then you are my hero. Like you. ZD, are you my hero? <laughs> maybe, maybe. Oh, it's the up smash. <laughs> but it was a draw. It was a punish. <laughs> oh. And a good punish at that. So, so Peach is old tag used to be Thunderscore. <laughs> Thunderscore? Yeah, Thunderscore. All right. Yeah, it used to be T H and then the the actual Battle. underscore. <laughs> oh, is that what it used to be? Yeah, that's what it used to be. Thunderscore. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's clever. That's a clever name. Yeah. Okay. Well, running it right back. To uh, Pokemon Stadium, which just happens to be like the new starter stage, like the default starter. Yeah, this is what people have been usually defaulting to nowadays. Um, Smashville with the with the middle platform, people are kind of scared of getting yanked out off the side platforms, you know, off the side platforms. You know what's funny? I actually feel like Smashville now um, is a better neutral than it was before. Yeah, it makes sense because like now you can't really get those kind of janky off the side kills with the moving platform. But there's the killing off the top uh, from ZD. Okay, starting with the down air and converting it to a forward air. Not going to be able to convert it any much further, but wow, that empty off. We were just talking about like the power of empty offs. ZD really showing off just how good you need to be at crossing up with empty offs. Yeah, like you, you have so much pressure. You could you put him into a rock, paper, scissors situation where you could just throw out the aerial, you could do the empty hop and grab, or you could empty hop and attack. That's right. Put more up airs than I can count. Yeah, and not letting, uh, not letting Peach land at all. Oh, man, that last, that final part of the illusion actually not having a hitbox. Air into dash attack. Yeah, but Thunderscore can't really, like, He's been doing really well in neutral, but I feel like get, once he gets caught out by one hit, it's it's kind of in a rough situation. That's right. The, the vortex is very, very quick for ZD. Oh, good. Yeah, missing out. yeah, that was a good angle from ZD. 
Uh, our peace player was like yeah. Thunderscore was looking for the uh, you know the vertical approach yeah. from Firefox, trying to beat it out with the downer. Yep. Oh, <laughs> I like that that little float cancel to dodge out with one laser. <laughs> that one laser is a threat. Yeah. <laughs> there. Oh. I'm surprised that Thunderscore hasn't really been going for uh, like trying to snipe him out with uh, with a turn up, you know? Because if he hits him with the turn up, he has to recover from really low, and sometimes you just flat out die. I feel like he has though. Like he thrown, he's thrown out the turn up a, a little bit, but it's 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 more of like trying to snipe it out in a certain position. Yeah. Oh. Oh, but the nair to up smash, not killing yet again. Yeah, but. The chase continues for ZD. Up throw. We're going to chase one up air. Ooh. Oh, no. Too hot and too low. And couldn't get the cancel off of the Peach Bomber. Right. I mean, that Peach Bomber, if it lands on a shield, is fairly safe because it does, like, bounce her back. And you do gain, re regain control of your character mm -hmm. fairly quickly. So you're able to, like, drift back even further. Or yeah. you can try and outspace them with a forward.